welcome back to another video. If you're new here, I'm Lily and I run my own micro bakery small business called Lily's Loaf in South London. So welcome back guys. I'm so sorry about this awful noise in the background. <laughs> it's my fridge and it's in it's working in overdrive because I've got it fully packed up. So I do apologize for the sound. So today I wanted to do a video and kind of catch up because I feel like my past two videos have been a highly edited sort of versions of my day and I'm not really going into that much detail um, as to what's going on behind the scenes of my small business journey, my micro bakery journey. So recently I've just kind of been plodding away with weekly home deliveries to our local customers. I've been doing a couple of markets, farmers markets as you may have seen in my last vlog style video. I am working towards Christmas as well, getting organised for the very busy period. And I've also been looking at more and more premises. So if you've been following my journey for a while, you'll know that my big, big life dream is to open up my own cafe bakery space somewhere in South London. That is the ultimate dream and something that I've wanted to do for, well, way before I even started Lily's Loaf. It was kind of like a, I don't know, an ethereal dream? Is that the, the right terminology? I don't know. So this is something that I've been working towards pretty much since I started my small business two years ago. And I, my motto in life, well, in business so far, has been slow and steady. and. This is something that I want to do all organically, so everything that the business earns is going back into the business, it's being reinvested, and the idea of taking out a loan from a bank or getting sort of any external investment, it kind of terrifies me. So I've got to kind of balance that, I've got to balance the reality of not having loads and loads of money to say buy commercial property which just is not an option I've realized that now <laughs> because being in London you can hardly buy like the smallest plot of land for a huge amount of money um, so I'm a dreamer but then I've kind of come back down to reality recently in the search I've got big big dreams of like beautiful spaces, beautiful natural daylight, having like a garden, a community garden and all of these things but what I've realised is if I'm going about it the organic way and investing it primarily from my own funds and the business funds I think I'll have to go down the renting route first of all and given the current climate and the world recession, it does seem a little less risky than buying even a really small space, which isn't even possible in my situation. Anyway, so last week I actually went to view a property which is which is on the market. It was a leasehold in Tulse Hill and it had a lot of potential. It was in a great location, it had some outdoor space, but it's just way out of budget and it's just not realistic so kind of going back to the drawing board in that sense and honestly I'm on Rightmove and Zoopla and all the estate agent websites every single day refreshing South London commercial property to rent um, and I'm just hoping that something turns up but even taking that plunge feels like a massive massive step and very very daunting and it kind of makes you question like am I ready for this step? Am I, am I a good enough baker? Am I good enough to open my own space? And all, all, all these questions um, but I do believe that with the right kind of team and good energy and a lot of hard work and passion it will pay off in 
the end. So that's kind of where I'm at in terms of the next stages of the business. And I also wanted to talk to you guys today about a business that I'm working with called Pleasant Hill Grain. And you may well have heard of them because they are based in the US and I know a lot of you guys are based in the US as well, which is really cool. But if you haven't heard of them, they are an online marketplace, a kind of one-stop shop where you can purchase everything from your regular kitchen kitchen appliances to stone-based ovens. They sell Campbell's Rackmaster oven, the RM2020. They sell other stone-based ovens so like Rothko's. They sell mock mills and grain mills. So it's the perfect place really to indulge all of your big hobbies and treat yourself to any sort of equipment that you want. It's also perfect for anyone who is thinking of starting up a micro bakery business like me. I know if I were in the US, I would definitely be buying from them, but I will leave all the, the links down below in the description box. So I just wanted to say a big thank you and a shout out to Pleasant Hill Grain for working with me and I hope you guys find everything that you want on there. on now in the day on Wednesday and I've been to the Polish supermarket I had a fantastic time um, if you didn't know you can get fresh yeast from Polish supermarkets um, it was a hack that I learned from one of my baker friends and I had no idea that they sold this there and this is like gold dust because online you have to buy quite a lot of it to fulfill like free delivery and to me, when I'm still experimenting with croissant dough and really small quantities of using this, it doesn't justify it, spending loads and loads of money on fresh yeast that's going to expire soon. So this, that I can get on my local high road, is amazing. So yeah, Polish supermarket for fresh yeast, this was 50p, that is insane. So I'm absolutely chuffed about that. Um, I also just got some apples. Um, because I'm going to be making the first batch of vegan mince meat today for all of my future mince pies. I've got a market next weekend and it's a pre-Christmas market so I'll probably be offering a few mince pies there. Um, but I just want to get ahead and make the first batch of mince meat because obviously I haven't made it since last December and I feel like it's good to get cracking with, with this sort of thing as soon as possible. Um, so I'm going to get on and do that now. In terms of my ingredients, I actually have some left over from last year, so like my spices for example, so I've got mixed spice, I've got whole nutmeg, um, I ordered some single cut mixed peel this year which arrived just a few days ago, I've got my apples, I've got some suet, vegan suet. Um, and that is made from vegetable fat and rice flour. I get a lot of these things from Whole Foods online. I've got dark brown sugar, dark brown sugar, and I need to get some oranges out the fridge as well. Um, but that is about it. Um, I wasn't able to get brandy out in the shop, so hopefully I'll be able to store some soon and then just mix that in with the minced meat um, that I'll be storing in the fridge later on. Okay guys, so I've weighed everything out and all I need to do is give it a big old mix, make sure that it's well mixed and then I'm going to pop a lid on it and keep it in the fridge until I need to use it next Friday. Um, so yeah, very exciting. It's smelling amazing. I don't know why, but making this just makes me so happy. Maybe it's because it's the first batch of many and it means that Christmas is coming. Thank you. 
but I just, there's nothing like the smells of mixed spice and cinnamon and nutmeg and dark brown sugar to make you feel all lovely and festive. Um, let me know if you guys are going to be making your own mince meat this year, but yeah, it just smells absolutely amazing. And I got some really nice comments for my mince pies last year. So hopefully there'll be another hit again. Um, I think I'm just going to have to stay on top of the production of this mince meat because I am making it all from scratch. I'm just going to have to make sure that every week I have a full batch ready to go um, in case I have an influx of orders of mince pies. Um, and I haven't quite figured out if I'm going to be doing epic morning buns as well. It's always really hard to know, but I do find the fewer products I have, my life is so much easier in terms of production. Um, so I might have to scale back on a couple of things just to make it all a bit easier really. I just wanted to wrap up the video here. I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear the sorts of videos that you want me to make and the videos that you want to see. Do you want to see more day in the life videos? Do you like these kinds of vlogs? Um, do you want me to do more recipes or anything you fancy? You let me know down below. Um, but don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys!